A very common thing to want to do in the Tmux Sessionizer workflow is switch between two sessions or more, kind of like Harpoon style, you know what I mean? And I'm not hugely supportive of the Harpoon plugin anyway, but like you have kind of multiple project directories and you want to quickly go between them. There's a, there's a shortcut built in that took me a while to find out about, and that is leader and then capital L for last, I guess. And you can see that'll switch between the last two sessions. And at first I was like, uh, that's, that's, that's nice to know, but it would be nice to have like pinned sessions to work between like a few of them if you're bouncing around multiple projects. But the more I thought about that, the more that's actually an unnecessary thing. And it's kind of like Harpoon. For me, like using Harpoon back when I used it, it's like I would only ever really be needing two files. And then the third and fourth file, I didn't actually have like the mental capacity to keep track of kind of where they were. Maybe that's just a skill issue. But so I'd use marks instead now for like more of semantic remembering of things. And same thing with like having multiple projects open. All I really need is this leader and then capital L to go to the last session because I don't really need to switch between like three or four different like open project directories. If I do, I have like the sessionizer to just look them up. And even then, like if you want to like if you want to preview kind of harpoon style of a list of all your open sessions, you can also just hit leader S and then that'll show you your sessions with a little preview and then you can jump to it like that. So yeah, I, I don't think like having a harpoon kind of thing for Tmux Sessionizer is necessary, but yeah, knowing about the last thing, it's kind of equivalent to, for instance, like if I open ops.lua here, it's like the alternate file command in vim, it's just like alternate session, and it looks like that actually took me to home, so if I open back up, like you can see it's like the last two. If I want to switch between two, I kind of have to set it up so I go to my love project directory and then I'll go to dot files and then I can switch between those two. And yeah, it's just super nice and convenient. One thing also with uh, with Tmux is it's a little awkward at first to like learn the, the prefix, which for me is just control space, but now I think could be control B. I might, I might map it back just so it's like more vanilla compatible because it's very easy for me to hit control B now. I made a video recently where I was talking about like the best escape remap for Vim being caps lock and a lot of people were telling me like oh you got to use like uh, the, the the control tap mod on caps lock which I actually have had enabled for a long time I kind of slipped my mind to talk about that but the reason I actually don't use that is because the millisecond timeout delay bothers me and I know that's like a ridiculous thing right like if you want to escape, like I hit escape, you can see there's just a tiny bit of delay. And if you're going to do another motion immediately, like escape and then J, it's like basically instantaneous. But for me, it, it I don't know, it just feels better to not have any delay at all by hitting that uh, control plus open bracket. Even though like I, I have the remap for escape, so if I forget to do that occasionally when I'm at the operating system level, it, it defaults to it, but I can still notice the delay. So I just prefer the, the two key hit like that. I don't know. Um, yeah, call me crazy. And then another thing is, dude, like a lot of people on my video about developer portfolios were like so pissed off about that. I think I like really touched a, a personal nerve. A lot of people are saying I have a superiority complex, which I don't really get because I think my superiority is pretty simple and easy to grasp, but I don't know. Yeah, I think especially like any Interstellar fans. Gee, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like saying that's a bad thing, you know. Like, I'm just saying like there's a sea of you. You're not very unique anymore. Maybe that was once unique, but yeah, there you go. There's a there's a very useful Tmux alternate binding. Maybe some of you knew about it, but it took me a while to figure out about that one. Hopefully, it helps in your workflow. We'll catch you next time.